Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about sixth problem from depreciation topic. I am taking this question from Pankaj Publications book. See the question first. On 1st April 1999, Sun Limited purchased a plant for 10 lakh rupees. On 1st October 99, additional plant was purchased for 5 lakh rupees. On 1st October 2000, the plant purchased on 1st April 99 was sold for 4 lakh rupees. On 1st October 2001, a new plant was purchased for 12 lakh rupees and the plant purchased on 1st October 99 was sold for 4 lakh 20 thousand rupees on the same date. Depreciation is to be provided at 10% per annum on return down value on 31st March every year. Return down value method means diminishing balance method. Prepare the plant account for 3 years ended 31st March 2002. So 31st March 2002 is the accounting year last date. Means they are following financial year. So year starting date is 1st April and ending date is 31st March. Let us see the solution for this. Plant account date particular amount date particular amount. First what happened? On 1st April 99, Sun Limited purchased a plant for 10 lakh rupees. On 1st October 99, additional plant was purchased for 5 lakh rupees. So these two purchases are made in first year only. 1st April 99. Debit side show the date. When asset is purchased, debit side we should write no. So 1st April 99 purchase date to bank account. They purchased this first asset for 10 lakh rupees. Let us see the first year dates. Starting date of the year is 1st April 99. Ending date is their following financial year. Means last date of the year is 31st March. Now you have to think about the year. So 99 April. After that 12 months if you count. Date will be 31st March 2000 now. So year is also will get changed. 99 becomes 2000. And in 99 year, they purchased another asset for 5 lakh rupees. So this purchase date is 1st October 99. This is a 1st October 99. This date is falling between these two dates. 1st April, 31st March 2000. So in first year only, they purchased another machine also. When they buy the machine, debit side we should write now. Purchase date 1st October 99 to bank account 5 lakh rupees. Now, on these two assets, at the year end, we have to provide depreciation. So, year end is 31st March 2000 by depreciation account. First asset, cost is 10 lakh rupees. Opening balance is also 10 lakh rupees now. On that, at the rate of 10%. And they purchase this asset on 1st April. So, 1st April to 31st March. Full year they used. Therefore, months are not required because into 12 by 12 will be there. So 10% of 10 lakh in inner column, 1 lakh rupees. Now second asset value, 5 lakh rupees. On that also 10% depreciation into, they purchase this second asset on 1st October. So October 1st means October also they used. October, November, December. So 1999 completed. And in current year, 2002, first three months are also falling now. So January, February, March. Total 6 months. Therefore, into 6 by 12. 25,000. Now, these two depreciations total in outer column. 1 lakh 25,000. Then, debit total minus credit total. Debit total 15 lakh rupees minus credit amount 1 lakh 25,000 is equal 13 lakh 75,000. For this, write down balance carried down. Date, same. Last date of the year. Two sides, highest total, debit total. 15 lakh, 15 lakh. Now come to second year. Date is next date to this date. 1st April 2000. Now if 1st April 2000 is the starting date of the year, ending date is from here count 12 months. It will be 31st March 2001. So second year is 2000-2001. In second year, first we have to bring this balance now. So this balance carried down amount show on debit side. Further write down two balance brought down. And in this second year what happened? See the question. On 1st October 2000, the plant purchased on 1st April 99 
was sold for 4 lakh rupees. So there is a sale. Two assets we have now. First one, second one. First asset is sold because on 1st April 99 we purchased first asset only. So when we buy the asset, debit side we are showing to bank. When we sell the asset, credit side we should show. So buy bank account. They sold this first asset for 4 lakh rupees. When on 1st October 2000, right on that date. And till that date, we use this asset now. Therefore, you have to provide depreciation. For depreciation also, you have to write the same date, 1st October 2000. And this is diminishing balance method, not fixed installment method. So the feature of diminishing balance method is every year we have to provide depreciation on opening balance of the asset. For first year, opening balance is 10 lakh. So on that we provided. For second year, opening balance is not 10 lakh rupees. No, this is cost. So opening balance is not available here. Separately, we have to calculate in inner column. How it comes? Cost of the asset 10 lakh minus first year depreciation on this sold asset 1 lakh. So 10 lakh minus 1 lakh is equal 9 lakh rupees. So in this 13 lakh 75,000, first asset opening balance is 9 lakh. On this 9 lakh at the rate of 10% for how many months? In this second year, from when to when we use this first asset? From 1st April to 1st October. 1st October means October we should not count now, up to September. So April, May, June, July, August, September. 6 months only we use this first asset. Therefore, into 6 by 12 is equal 45,000 rupees. This amount in outer column. Then, when we sell that asset, in that sale, we may get a profit or loss. That profit or loss, we have to compute in working notes. See the working notes? Two assets are sold. That is why in one table only, I calculated the profit or loss for these two assets. Therefore, in tabular manner, I have given this profit or loss calculation. Cost. First, this first plant information we will see. Cost of first asset is 10 lakh rupees. No? Show that value. 10 lakh rupees in outer column minus total depreciation so first year is 1999-2000 second year 2000-2001 so when this first asset is sold in second year only they sold therefore only first two years information we should show 1999-2000 depreciation in machinery account it is available in inner column this 1 lakh is on 10 lakh rupees depreciation now so this 1 lakh rupee here and 2000 and 2001 for this second year depreciation is see just now we have calculated on first asset depreciation in second year is 45,000 up to first October this 45,000 here so two amounts total in outer column 1 lakh 45,000 rupees then 10 lakh minus 1 lakh 45,000 is equal 8 lakh 55,000. This is known as book value. So at the time of sale, the actual value of this plant is 8 lakh 55,000. 8 lakh 55,000 worth of plant is sold for 4 lakh rupees. So we sold for less now minus sale value. So there is a loss of 4 lakh 55,000 in first asset sale there is a loss of 4,55,000. If loss comes, credit side we should show. Profit, debit side. So as loss came, credit side show that value. For loss, what to write? Again, this loss, we have to transfer to profit and loss account. Therefore, by profit and loss account, we should write. And date is, when we sell that asset, on that day only loss comes. Therefore, sale date only, we should write for profit and loss account also. 1st October 2000. So this is a first asset information we have shown. Now come to remaining asset information. 5 lakh. Second asset. So this second plant is not sold in second year. No? Therefore, till the end of second year, it is continuing. So on that day, at the end of second year, we have to provide the depreciation on this second asset. So depreciation credit set. Date is second year last date 31st march 2001 by depreciation account on second asset this is diminishing balance method now therefore 
in this value we need opening balance of second asset second asset cost is 5 lakh in this first year on this 5 lakh worth asset depreciation 25000 came so 5 lakh minus 25000 see i have shown here 5 lakh minus 25000 is equal 4 lakh 75000 so in this value second year opening balance value second asset opening balance is 4 lakh 75000 on that at the rate of 10 percent and in second year from 1st april to 31st march full year we have this asset now therefore into 12 by 12 will be there no need to write that so full year depreciation is 47500 then finally find out the balance carried out debit total 13,75,000 minus credit amounts 4,45,000, 4,55,000, 47,500 is equal 4,27,500. For this last date of the year 31st March 2001 and write down by balance carried out. So second year is completed. For how many years he is asking us to show the plant account? See the question. Prepare the plant account for 3 years, ended 31st March 2002. So, 1st year, 2nd year completed, 1 more year we have. This balance carried on amount bring on debit side. Continuation is here in next page. Date is next date of this date, 31st March 2001. Next date is 1st April 2001. So, Third year starting date is 1st April 2001, ending date is 31st March 2002. So third year is 2001-2002. To balance brought down this value 4,27,500 here. And in this third year what happened? See the question again. On 1st October 2001, a new plant was purchased for 12 lakh rupees. And the plant purchased on 1st October 99. 1st October 99, which plant we purchased? This second one, 5 lakh worth asset. Was sold for 4 lakh 20,000 on the same date. So, in this third year, two things were happened. First one, purchases. Second one, sale of second asset. So, first sale we will show. When it is sold, 1st October 2001. So, write down that date on credit side by bank account this second asset is sold for 4 lakh 20 thousand and in this third year from when to when we use this second asset from 1st april to 1st october 1st october means october we should not count because starting date up to september so april may june july august september six months we use now and this is diminishing balance method don't forget that point so in diminishing balance method, while calculating depreciation, opening balance we need now. So opening balance of second asset in third year we want. How it comes? See the second year ones. In inner column, second year opening balance we have calculated. Second year, second asset, opening balance is 4,75,000. So from that, second year depreciation if you subtract, then third year opening balance comes now. So that in inner column I have shown 4,75,000 second year opening balance minus 47,500 second year depreciation. See here 4,75,000 minus 47,500 is equal 4,27,500. Second asset opening balance is 4,27,500. What is the meaning of this? This opening balance belongs to second year asset only because only two assets we have on 1st April, 1st asset is already sold. So, remaining 2nd asset opening balance only, you know, this is. Therefore, save value came. On this 4,27,500 at the rate of 10% for 6 months now. Because from 1st April to 1st October only we used. 6 months depreciation is 21,375. And 2nd asset is sold in 3rd year. In this sale, we may get profit or loss that we have to calculate in working notes so see the working notes see the table again first plant over now come to second plant cost second plant cost is they purchase this second asset for 5 lakh rupee so 5 lakh minus depreciation first 
సెకండ్ ఎస్సెట్ ఈస్ పర్చేస్డ్ ఇన్ నైంటీ నైన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఇయర్ నో ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ నో ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ డిప్రిసియేషన్ ఇన్ ఇన్నర్ కాలమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అవైలబుల్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ థౌజండ్ సెకండ్ ఇయర్ డిప్రిసియేషన్ ఆన్ సెకండ్ ఎస్సెట్ ఈస్ ఫార్టీ సెవెన్ థౌజండ్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ థర్డ్ ఇయర్ డిప్రిసియేషన్ ఆన్ దిస్ సెకండ్ ఎస్సెట్ ఈస్ ట్వంటీ వన్ థౌజండ్ త్రీ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ త్రీ వాల్యూస్ ఆర్ అవైలబుల్ టేక్ దెమ్ ఇన్ ఇన్నర్ కాలమ్ నైన్టీన్ నైన్టీ నైన్ టూ థౌజండ్ డిప్రిసియేషన్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ థౌజండ్ టూ థౌజండ్ టూ థౌజండ్ వన్ డిప్రిసియేషన్ ఫార్టీ సెవెన్ థౌజండ్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ టూ థౌజండ్ వన్ టూ థౌజండ్ టూ డిప్రిసియేషన్ ట్వంటీ వన్ థౌజండ్ త్రీ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ త్రీ అమౌంట్స్ టోటల్ ఇన్ అవుటర్ కాలం నైంటీ త్రీ థౌజండ్ ఎయిట్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ నవ్ కాస్ట్ మైనస్ టోటల్ డిప్రిసియేషన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ బుక్ వాల్యూ సో బుక్ వాల్యూ ఈస్ ఫోర్ ల్యాక్ సిక్స్ థౌజండ్ వన్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ అండ్ దిస్ సోల్డ్ దిస్ ఎసెట్ ఫర్ ఫోర్ ల్యాక్ ట్వంటీ థౌజండ్ గివెన్ ఇన్ ద క్వశ్చన్ నా సో వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ హియర్ ఫోర్ ల్యాక్ సిక్స్ థౌజండ్ వన్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ వర్త్ ఎసెట్ ఈస్ సోల్డ్ ఫర్ ఫోర్ ల్యాక్ ట్వంటీ థౌజండ్ దే సోల్డ్ ఫర్ హయ్యర్ వాల్యూ దెర్ ఈస్ అ ప్రాఫిట్ దేర్ ఫర్ ఫోర్ ల్యాక్ ట్వంటీ థౌజండ్ మైనస్ ఫోర్ ల్యాక్ సిక్స్ థౌజండ్ వన్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ థర్టీన్ థౌజండ్ ఎయిట్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ ఈస్ ప్రాఫిట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ లాస్ సో ఇన్ ఫస్ట్ ఎసెట్ సేల్ లాస్ కేప్ ఇన్ సెకండ్ ఎసెట్ సేల్ ప్రాఫిట్ కేప్ సో దిస్ ప్రాఫిట్ డెబిట్ సైడ్ విషు టైట్ నా లాస్ క్రెడిట్ సైడ్ వీ ఆర్ షో బై ప్రాఫిట్ అండ్ లాస్ అకౌంట్ ప్రాఫిట్ డెబిట్ సైడ్ విషు షో వెన్ ప్రాఫిట్ కమ్స్ వెన్ ఎసెట్ ఈస్ సోల్డ్ ఆన్ దట్ డే ఓన్లీ దేర్ ఫోర్ ఫర్ ప్రాఫిట్ ఆల్సో సేమ్ డేట్ ఫస్ట్ అక్టోబర్ టూ థౌజండ్ వన్ సేల్ డేట్ టు ప్రాఫిట్ అండ్ లాస్ అకౌంట్ దిస్ వాల్యూ థర్టీన్ థౌజండ్ ఎయిట్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ నెక్స్ట్ కమ్ టు రిమైనింగ్ ఎసెట్ సి ఫస్ట్ ఎసెట్ ఈస్ సోల్డ్ ఇన్ సెకండ్ ఇయర్ సెకండ్ ఎసెట్ ఈస్ సోల్డ్ ఇన్ థర్డ్ ఇయర్ అండ్ ఇన్ థర్డ్ ఇయర్ దే పర్చేస్ ఆర్ అనదర్ ప్లాన్ నో ఫర్ ట్వెల్వ్ ల్యాక్ రూపీస్ ఆన్ ఫస్ట్ అక్టోబర్ నవ్ ఎట్ ద ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ థర్డ్ ఇయర్ దిస్ థర్డ్ ఎసెట్ థర్డ్ ప్లాన్ ట్వెల్వ్ ల్యాక్ వర్త్ ప్లాన్ ఓన్లీ వీ హ్యావ్ ఆన్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు ప్రొవైడ్ డిప్రిసియేషన్ అగైన్ వెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ సోల్డ్ దేర్ ఫర్ ఇయర్ లాస్ట్ డేట్ థర్టీ ఫస్ట్ మార్చ్ టూ థౌజండ్ టూ బై డిప్రిసియేషన్ ఆన్ థర్డ్ ఎసెట్ థర్డ్ ఎసెట్ వాల్యూ ట్వెల్వ్ ల్యాక్ రూపీ ఇంటూ టెన్ బై హండ్రెడ్ ఇంటూ when they purchase this third asset first october so first october means october also they use no we have to count october november december january february march total 6 months they used 60000 now finally debit total minus credit total this three amounts total 1641375 minus 4220000 21375 60000 is equal 114000 so for this write down the last date of the year by balance carried down two side highest total 1641375 credit side also same now for 3 years only he asked but asset account is not at closed balance is there therefore for next date bring the balance and stop the problem so date is next date to this date 1st april 2002 two balance brought down this value 1140000 and stop the problem so this is the solution take a screenshot of this problem first page this is continuation and working notes so hope this video is helpful to you thank you